Hi, little boy. I love you. My breathing is restricted. <laughs> Ooh, baby. Good morning, how y'all doing? About to make some coffee, really fun, exciting things. This is the coffee we use. This is Starbucks House Blend Cocoa and Toffee. I'm super hungry, I'm at the point where I have got to eat. We're in a new place, obviously you guys know we moved to my parents' house, we're here, officially. All right, I got my coffee, topped with cinnamon, of course. And I wanted to show you guys this podcast. It is the Mother Like a Boss podcast hosted by Kendra Hennessy. This podcast is incredible, you guys. I've been binging it ever since I found her podcast. I have been listening nonstop. She talks about mindset within motherhood and it's like <laughs> right up my alley. So she also talks about business if you're a business owner, but everything she talks about, she relates it back to motherhood. I'm here for everything she says. Oh, you have to go listen to that podcast. If you're not, even if you're not a podcast listener, this is a great place to start. And I know a lot of moms follow me, so you're welcome. You're welcome. I always like to do it by myself, not the hand. Good job, Rosie. Incredible. It looks almost like an eight. <laughs> yeah, it looks like an eight. Give him a little kiss. Yeah, right. He's you. like, no. Definitely brother and sister. Sit. Aww. Hey, stinky boy. Yeah. <laughs> Are you guys besties? He's getting so big, isn't he? Wow. <laughs> Let's eat. I want to hug you. No, no. Good morning. <laughs> Today I'm doing the thing with the and the and the jalapenos. Struggling with this bra. I'm not a 34 waist right now. My breathing is restricted. <laughs> and some mushrooms. These look a little too saucy to be good. Give this a quick sniff. <laughs> no. I kind of already briefly showed you guys what I like to put in my omelets but I chopped all this up ahead of time. Onions and garlic and tomatoes. Hi, why don't you come say good morning? Good morning. Good morning vlog. Good morning vlog. <laughs> I asked her if she wanted to make a video today and she said yes. Subscribe to our channel. Oh, hold on, they can't see you. Subscribe to our channel. <laughs> Subscribe. Okay, let's crack some liquid chickens. Would you just look at this omelet, you guys? Ooh, baby. All right, so you guys, I have to share one of my top secrets with you. If you're trying to eat a little better, obviously this is gonna be a lot of calories, but a huge misconception is if you're eating healthier and wholesome ingredients, it's gonna taste bad, but that's just not true. My suggestion would be to take a morning, chop up some vegetables. Get yourself one of these. Look how used this is this morning. My goodness, it's messy. I made a huge mess. <laughs> wow, would you just look at that? Hmm, made a big mess. But the good thing is you prep it and you're ready for the week and you can make a bomb omelet every morning. This is kind of what the mixture looks like. It doesn't look very good, but all the flavors in this, garlic, 
onion, tomato. I use mushrooms in mine, Zach didn't want them in his, but you let that simmer in olive oil and a little bit of butter. Let it simmer for like 20 minutes. Oh my. Yeah, I mean, seriously, it's delicious. Bon apple feet. This is what I'm talking about. Let's take care of it, shall we? Well, bam. Look at that progress right there. <laughs> wow. I'm very happy. Next, I need to tackle making this space functional. Mainly just unpacking those suitcases. This is our beautiful little kitchen area. <laughs> this is where my dad usually does all his cleaning of the fish and such. Can I see it? Oh, are you gonna hang that one up? Yep. Oh, Rosalie's very excited. She's in a little witch dress right now. <laughs> uh, but we put this little string up. We have to buy some more pictures. Yeah. Yeah, so we can look at some more pictures. Yeah, next to your bed. Yeah. <laughs> I could put witch pictures on the walls. Witch pictures? Yeah. <laughs> Do you love it? Yeah, I love that picture. All right, y'all, good morning. It's the next day, and I wanted to show you around our humble abode for the next uh, six months-ish. We'll see how long we're here for. I haven't had a chance to finish in the kitchen. Here's the makeup of the day. I went and got my nails done this morning. I feel much better. I, You'll notice that they're a lot shorter. This little guy broke off, and so this was really short, and then I had a bunch of really long nails. But it's okay, it was time. I was tired of having long nails. I get really annoyed with them, because I feel like I can't do anything. <laughs> Let me show you the place. Come on in. Bear's in his kennel, because I have to leave. So there's where my clothes stay. This is our uh, little bathroom vanity for the time being <laughs> so that's okay because this is what we're working with in here this little vanity so yeah we just kind of put our stuff in here it's a very small bathroom but it's nice to have it right outside our door here is our room where we're staying there's my vanity Rosie's bed and I remember before Christmas of course our mirror I added these cute vines to the corners of our windows. Loving those. They're real, so they'll grow longer. Those are from my parents. Nice little vacuum lines there. Ooh. And our bed. We just added this top to our IKEA dresser so Rosie's clothes could go there. Over here. It's kind of, we put our little paint in there. <laughs> just, this is kind of where things fell and it'll work for now. Here's my little outfit of the day. Oh, I need to show you guys a little bump update. I am 25 weeks, I'll be 26 weeks on Saturday. This is the outfit of the day. Cute little dress, silky kimono. It's very soft. And then I got these new shoes also from TJ Maxx recently. So yes, if you are in the market for some new shoes, I found some really cute stuff on Clarence at TJ Maxx. Hi, little boy. I love you. You guys see that? That vein down there? Wow. Very nice. Very cute. <laughs> love that for me. I got this body pillow from Walmart recently. Big fan. That is my snuggle buddy every night. <laughs> Give me your hand. You're gonna give him a kiss? That's so cute. He's moving a bunch. You better come hold right here. He keeps kicking me right here. <gasps> did you feel that? Yeah. Did you really? I did. Did you feel that? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, it's my baby brother. Who was it? Did you feel that baby kick in there? Yeah! Was that cool? Yeah! You gonna talk to him? Hi, baby. What are you gonna tell him? I'm gonna tell him that I love him. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. I love you, baby. 
Oh, you're so precious, Rose. Take picture. Take picture. Cheese. Love you. I love you. <laughs> you make me smile. <laughs> Where are we going? To the store. There's an outfit today. Oh, yeah, you do. What else do you have? I have a book. That's a fishing lure. Who gave that to you? I'm a grandpa. Ooh, it's creepy. Yeah, close. Ooh, are you gonna take that to the store? Yeah. Okay. To show everybody. Sounds good. Let's go. Bob your head. Hey, hey, hey. She's not feeling it. Hey friends, love and light to you all. Today I have some meal ideas that I've been really enjoying while I've been pregnant. Uh, comfort food. Can anyone say comfort food? Warm, delicious, satisfying meals. Mostly comprised of wholesome ingredients. That's what we're going for. Say good morning vlog. So I'm going into Walmart right now. I've already made a few meals for this video, but I have a few more in mind that I need to pick some things up. So let's get it. Yeah, come to mama. How'd you get so beautiful? Because my mommy is beautiful. Oh! So Ooh, my goodness, that was a trip. My goodness, why did you get so many groceries? Are you gonna eat all of those by yourself? I'm gonna eat all of those by myself. Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, I'm tired. You tired, baby boy? Are you tired, baby boy? I bet he is. He's had a hard day. Oh yes, you got some new food. <laughs> We're gonna talk to the baby. Tell him something about life. Did you He's pick? gonna be excited about his sister too. You wanna show us your Harry Potter poster you insisted that we put up? What's he on? Buffy. Yes. You have a big fat tummy. It's not a fat tummy, it's a baby tummy. Yeah, it's big. It is big, isn't it? What are you most excited about being a sister? To have a baby. Mm -hmm. What do you want to tell your brother about life? I want to tell him about I love him. Can I love my new baby? He's going to love me. <laughs> Come on, love me. <laughs> yeah. I love you. <laughs> so here's the recipe. Screenshot it if you want this. I have no idea where this came from. Just ended up in my recipe book as a family recipe. It's delicious and so easy. Like a cargo. doesn't look like much, but I promise you, shit's fire. Hey there, you. While I cook this chicken, I wanted to talk to you guys about a discovery I've made and also something that I find infuriating about the motherhood community. I was recently listening to a podcast big surprise there. I'm an avid podcast listener. They talked about how if you want to discover 
your deeper purpose or your why, you also have to explore the things that make you extremely mad, sad, or disappointed about our world or things within a certain community. One of the things that disappoints me so much about the motherhood community specifically is that anyone, first of all, anyone has the energy, but the audacity of some of these sancta mommies, which is just a name for sanctimonious mommies, someone who's sanctimonious feels as though they're morally superior or the way they do things is just superior. And so this has become a disgustingly popular thing to do on the internet. It's just a mom shame. And so I'm gonna make it a part of my mission to be anti mom shaming and anti sanctimony because everybody experiences life differently and everybody's parenting style is going to be different and I'm not trying to toot my own horn or anything but toot toot <laughs> just kidding but I'm one of the like least judgmental people you'll meet and so I just don't understand how someone can word vomit and spew hate over the internet when you don't even know what the, the person on the other side of that comment is going through. Everybody makes decisions based off of their own life experience. So judging someone based off of the experience you have had in life, it just does not make sense. Make it make sense. You can't, because it doesn't. Okay, this, we can't be friends while I'm sitting. I'm sorry, you're gonna have to go, buddy. I'm so tired. So I'm gonna make this chicken and also talk to you about my newfound, well, it's one of my missions and passions is to be actively anti-mom shaming and invite you into a safe, inclusive, loving environment. So like my theme is love and light. And this is something I've always wanted to put out into the world because if I put that out, it's gonna come back to me and I really need <laughs> some like-minded friends in my life. Anyway. But I mean, love in a sense of obviously love, but light is like you're feeding people your positive energy, but also lightness not and weight. So I don't, I don't want to add any extra weight to you. I want to help you take some weight off your shoulders and help you not to judge yourself so much, so harshly. And so that's something I'm going to touch on today. I'm really excited to share that with you. <laughs> so this one's for anyone who's ever been mom shamed. Alright, that's good enough for me. Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> Mommy! I thought I was gonna film a video, didn't I? Hi Rosie, what are you doing? One tablespoon of sweet chili sauce. This stuff is the goat, y'all. Greatest of all time. Okay, this tastes fire. Okay, so let's talk real quick. Let me remind you that you are worthy regardless of how many things you checked off your list today. If you checked one thing off your list, if you didn't check anything off your list, your worth is innate. It's there. You don't have to do anything to earn that. So if you couldn't muster up the strength to do anything today, you're still worthy. Regardless of what the internet, your mother-in-law, or your internal mean girl says about you. Your happiness as a mama and a human being, might I remind you, is dependent on you letting go of that self-critical inner dialogue. This dish stole Zach's heart. And that's not easy to do. My husband's very critical of my cooking and everyone's cooking. I mean, I'm a great cook if I do say so myself. He's just got a lot to say <laughs> about food. I got that chicken on and now I can just talk to you guys. So. Let me just rub those all over the table here. So, it's a known psychological fact that people who are more gentle with themselves and judge themselves less are just overall more happy. It's actually super counterproductive and self-sabotaging because Inevitably, you'll just accomplish less because you're beating yourself up. How you see yourself has a huge effect on how you live your day to day. That's why self love is important, y'all. Self love, growth, and reflection is much 
more healthy and isn't that what you would want your own children to do for themselves? Like a lot of us are raising little girls. If they decide to have children one day, would you want them parenting out of self-loathing? No. So it starts with us. We have to set that example for them. I don't know if anyone's ever told you, but you are not your thoughts. You are the observer of your thoughts. You're just like a conscious being that's in here somewhere. And uh, so yeah, you can observe your thoughts and it's really good news because you can accept or deny those thoughts as being true, whether you accept them as truth for yourself. Yeah, that includes thoughts of others. So you can say uh, thanks, but no thanks. And then you can just send those on their pretty little way. <laughs> But do decide, is this thought rooted in something or is it completely baseless? Because just because we shouldn't judge ourselves, it doesn't mean we're a perfect human being. I mean, there's no such thing as a perfect human being, but uh, just because you shouldn't judge yourself doesn't mean that we don't still grow and improve and look for ways that we can do better. So just simply ask yourself without judgment, is this thought rooted in something that I actually could work on or is it something that's baseless and just and send it on its way? If so, if you're somebody that finds it repulsive that some moms really be out here just judging each other when you know damn well how hard it can be, <laughs> if that makes you just seethe and simmer inside, make sure you subscribe and join the non judgmental crew. If that's you and you want to invite more inclusivity and love and light into your life, then you found the right place. I hope you enjoyed today's video and you're here for this new piece of my brand. I know I'm here for it. The self-discovery makes me so hyped because we're in alignment, okay? Okay, so yeah, we'll talk really soon. I hope you enjoyed this video about pregnancy meal ideas and we'll talk really soon. Love and light to ya. See you soon. Mwah.